Alex Man here, and welcome back to another session of Super Luigi Galaxy. Last time, we cleared up what we could of the fountain. Oh, Luigi! No! Don't you... Nah! Wasn't Lena? Help me! Okay, good. <laughs> anyway, if you check the map here... <laughs> that was awkward. Here you go. So, last time we finished up what we could of the fountain. And we almost finished up completely of, of the kitchen. And we have Bowser or Bowser Jr.'s next mission over here that we have to tackle. But it looks like a Honey Hive Galaxy has a comet for us. We might as well go check that out too while we're at it. We also saved uh, Luigi, uh, Cosmic, uh, another version of myself, you know, a twin, you know, that kind of thing. I know I'm the real Luigi. But anyway. But we also have cosmic. We also got no more comets to deal with, and we got this one. This is our racing one. This is cosmic comets. They are essentially this: a race against a cosmic version of yourself. Oh, another twin! And like I don't need another one. I already have one. I don't need two. But cosmic comets will basically take the form of Luigi or Mario, depending on which character you're playing as, and you have to race to the star. Well, Mario can be very easy, or Cosmic Rays of Mario are kind of easy. Luigi ones are not that much. Luigi ones are a little bit harder. This is considered to be the hard mode of the game. Now, there is a trick you can do to pull, it, uh, to pull off a boost for these races when you start off. And I hope I can get it right when this happens. Yeah, I think you have to hold ZL, push up the control pad, and press A. Oh, I messed up. Well, I'll have a title on there how it works or something like that, but Cosmic Luigi will most likely be doing a lot of the long jumps. Just like you will, most likely. But Cosmic Luigi can also falter at and, and many different times, so bear that in mind. He is going to choose out all the shortcuts that you should be, be pulling off. If you hit Luigi, if Cosmic Luigi taps you, you will basically lose star bits, so bear that in mind. Who did that? Whoa. But in this version, though, this race though here, Cosmic Luigi gets stuck in the honey, so that actually slows him down. So, haha! -ha! First easy start! Yeah, I told you, I'm better than my cosmic self! Ho ho ho! That's a very easy quick star. There's a lot of these Cosmic Luigis that will come up across the different galaxies later on. But that's our first instance of it. So we see another cosmic, or at least another prankster comet for us. Alrighty. With that out of the way, I want to walk into the water. How do we go? We'll head back to the kitchen. And to complete that terrace as well. At the time of this stream, uh, for those who are wondering on the YouTube side of things, yes, this will be like probably around March or something like that. But the Nintendo Direct of February happened just the other day. That was interesting, to say the least. A lot of cool things. Skyward Sword HD was announced. Which means that most likely I'm going to be have to replay that game on my channel too. <laughs> but anyway, but also Splatoon 3 is coming out, which is well next year anyway. But anyway, I I'm really excited for these games. I wasn't really excited by the whole fact that you know the what was it a, a triangle strategy that presentation for that game went a little too long. I thought it felt like another Fire Emblem game. To be fair, but we'll get into that in a moment. But we have Bowser Jr.'s airship Armada sinking the airships. We're finally going up and actually fighting Bowser Jr. at long last. Now, according at least in the at least in the games so far, Bowser's been all about the you know fist you know fighting you fist to fist. We Bowser Jr. on the hand wants to fight with mechanisms and contraptions. That's why he tried to leave. Um, us in the hands of um, of Mega Leg earlier, so bear that. So Bowser Jr. may not get you know up to personal physically, but his mental prowess is trying to defeat us all the way across. This is not a very long mission, to be fair, either. He's got to aim nicely. I hope we can get that pole star. There we go. You can die there if you don't position yourself correctly. Bear that in mind. We have some sentry drones here. Another magic Koopa. Hey, yo! 
Go somewhere else! Luigi's going to destroy all the airships! Up this way. Sneak up like that. Oh! Come on down! I gotta take out these wigglers! Give me some of those star bits! Tasty, tasty star bits! Now, this level is a little dangerous with Luigi. Uh, since to his low traction, he will most likely fall off the, this uh, little platform over here where my pointer is at. Very easily if he gets hit. So, bear that in mind. I want to take care of this boomer bug here. Oh, I missed. Come on! Come over here! There you go. I don't want you, you know, knocking me off. You should get enough. You should have, if you go after out of your way to collect all the star bits that up to this point, you should have enough for this hungry Luma here. Which will give you a one up or, you know, triple life if need be. We're gonna go for the triple life because why not? Which I didn't actually think go after the extra lives that Luigi could get every uh, station there. I didn't get that. We'll have to get that after this. Ooh, so full. Now I'm feeling great. So here I go. Transform! Oh, I feel much better now. Now that, you know, I wish I got, you know, like sandpaper on my feet, you know. This one could be a little tricky because of Luigi's low friction, so. Just keep moving out of the way. Hit those spiders out of the way. Because if, jump, if Luigi jumps, you know, he's going to have to fall back and everything. That's not good either. Oh, no. Oh, goodness, that was close. I almost died there. <laughs> yeah, Luigi was living the life on the edge, you know. Hey, yeah! All right, so now we actually got the Prince of the Cosmos now himself, Bowser Jr.'s. You don't just give up. Fine, then I guess I'll just whip you myself. You won't. You want this grand star so bad? You're gonna have to take it from me. <laughs> yep. So Bowser Jr. He's gonna be using his little little mini airship to. To attack us with. His weakness is Koopas. Koopas will constantly keep pouring out of here. The more hits you hit on uh, Bowser Jr., the more of his attacks get more aggressive. As you know, at first it was cannonballs, but now it's homing bullet bills. Also, now we have Magic Koopas in our way. So watch out for that. Aww. Oh. Oh. Yeah! There you go! Oh, now he means business. Now we have another attack to worry about. And I'm going to take this guy out because I don't want... We got enough flaming cannonballs now. We have to watch out for that. Ooh. And he's getting a little angrier. Oh! That's not good either. We got to watch out for these fireballs here. Yeah, there we go. Also, now all of his attacks are going to come out all at once now, so watch out for that. Ooh, yeah! Oh, I didn't hit him. He thought that would. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to die. I need some coins. I need some coins! Ah. Thankfully, there's a couple... Oh, a Goomba! Yo! Take you out. I need a coin. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 ow! I'm having a horrible time here, folks. I really am. This is not, this usually doesn't happen to me, usually. Come on now. Oh, no! Bowser Jr. got me at long last. <clears throat> Alright, back now. Alright, Bowser Jr., round two! Or 200. Huh, come back to get a fight me again, huh? Well, you're not gonna get this grand start from me again. Huh, I'm gonna use the same strategy as before. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the same strategy as you. Go take that one. You, you killed off your own people. Bowser Jr., do you not really care anymore? Take you down this time, for sure. Not gonna be so careless this time. There we go. Three hits down, now we get to switch him up. I'm gonna get on the lower platform because that's actually saving me some trouble here. If that was the last time, I was getting bombarded because I couldn't avoid the fireballs because I was at, right at the same plane. 
Take that. All oh, the fireballs took him down. I'm gonna have to get up and close and personal. You keep killing off your own stuff and your own people, Bowser Jr. Man, surely the Koopas are not gonna follow you when you can become when your dad passes away. Goodness. Yeah, usually I don't really have much trouble with this guy, but he's giving me you, again. You killed off your own people again. <laughs> Bowser Jr., what is up with you right now? <laughs> oh, we need to be... The only problem about this is I don't have an, a reticule to throw the Koopa shell, so when it doesn't hit, it's a problem. Ooh. At least I'm doing a little bit better than before. Well, I was, until I got hit by the bull bill. Alright, come on. Just wait for him to fire, and then I can just chuck that thing right at him, and it missed. I get missing all the way across. This is not usually this doesn't happen. All right, come on. There we go. The second time's a second time's a charm, folks. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty star. Let's go get it. Hey ya! Take that, Bowser Jr. Take that with a charm. <laughs> that is our fourth grand star, folks. Our fourth one. Huzzah! And that allows us, folks, to enter the bedroom. The bedroom dome is now ours to explore. Number star number 43, galaxy complete. Huzzah, I've discovered a lot of new galaxies. All of them. <laughs> That's going to be a running trend, folks. Yeah. Thanks to you and your friends of all the domes on the lower level are now working again. Once the engine on the upper level is powered, the whole observatory will be working. Then the common observatory will fly as a starship once again. <laughs> and you'll be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. I, you know, I don't think it's my special one, you know. You know, it's actually kind of Mario's thing. You know, because Daisy keeps talking, you know, keeps calling me all the time and says, she's, Hi, I'm Daisy. That's all she says, too. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, you know, I'm ready to go, you know, you know, have some extra activities, you know, going to do some golfing. That'd be really cool. Apparently, the, the new golf course in the Mushroom Kingdom is going to be open up soon. I'm going to enjoy it. Any best has been spotted. We are detecting mass energy spikes. What are they doing there? You know, probably something evil. Knowing that. Anyway, let's go after our one more star in this portion of the video when it's broken. Let's see, we got... There we go. Honey Climb Galaxy. Let's go climb in some honey. Man, it, it makes me... That just... Now, Honeycomb Galaxy, that just makes me think about Honeycomb Cereal now. You guys, have, you guys out there love, like, the olden sugar cereals of the past? Where it's like, you know, you always got... You know, you, your parents always put you with, you know, just bland don't Cheerios, and you always wanted... I want the sugar cereal! Because it tastes better, you know? I really did like, um, I really did like, like, like the really sugary stuff, like Captain Crunch and all that stuff. But over the years, I kind of find myself just eating, you know, like Honey Nut. Like Honey Nut variants of, of cereal now. I try to go to the other ones and it's like, I just don't have the appeal to the older stuff of sugar that I had before, you know? It was just like, what... I just don't know what my mind goes to. It's like, yeah, you know, you don't need this cereal anymore. And it's just, it just gives you that weird feeling when you get older. Your tastes change depending on your age. It just feels so weird for times. You know. Well, I got that coin there, and I can just stop there so I can get those star bits. Oh, uh -huh. get them all we got. Let's go. Uh, this level in particular, folks, we have to worry about it because we have to be in B form the entire way. This is entirely all vertical space stage. We grab all these star bits here. 
Ooh. Now we got some more extra obstacles. Now we got meteorites destroying the honey. Oh boy. Man, this is some hardy honey if they have to make it here. Oh. 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 Okay. This place can be a little tricky since the meteorites are going to be a little annoying to be fair. But since you're putting this into a vertical jumping motion for jumping on the honey, you can somewhat avoid... Oh boy. Oi! That was close. I almost got hit. That would have been bad. Oof. You know, I'll take I'll just take that. <laughs> I'll grab the extra star bits for flying. Alright, there we go. Let's go! Huzzah! Oh we got now we got bugabooms. Now if we'll train the uh, honey. The honey and everything, because they want the honey too. I don't know why these bugs want honey. Or at least the nectar inside said honeycomb. But still. Oh no! You're not getting me today! No, you never get Luigi. I destroyed your leader! You should all submit to me now! I'm the leader of the, of the bugger bombs now! <laughs> you guys should all follow Luigi! <laughs> oh! Oh! Ooh! There! I'm going to fall! Okay, good. It's a little tricky uh, with, honey, with, with B. Luigi. Because you... You know, you have that fly meter, but you just you kind of forget how fast that meter drains when uh, when you start flying. So it's like you just gotta you gotta start using the hover and hope for the best, you know. You don't really get much height from B. Luigi's uh, flying capabilities. It's a far cry from the Tanuki Leaf and the Super and the Super Cape, you know. Uh, you know, I wish the I wish the Super Cape was in 3D. That'd be really, really cool. Have you ever thought of having those classic power-ups becoming 3D? You know, that's what the Tanuki one did too. So, not too bad, I don't think. <laughs>